and here we are Saturday afternoon as you can see it has been raining once again you know like basically this whole week on and off during our morning walk it was raining just enough that I had to carry umbrella with me uh, in case of more rain but I had just you know my hood on um, so it was okay but then it started you know to rain pretty severe just before I went to the store so yeah and then you know it was like that on and off throughout the day Lisa yesterday she didn't want to eat well she didn't eat her she didn't eat her uh, breakfast she didn't eat her dinner nothing well nothing she of course ate uh, a pizza that's of course um, you know non-negotiable uh, she didn't even want to eat what the treats so in the morning after I came back from the from the store I made you know a veggie soup for her with some well it was primary veggie veggie stew but there was some meat in it oh oh doggo went on the road that could be dangerous and Lisa also wanted to go after that no more was it also wanted to follow the pigeon Quant, Lima, Hodma, Napre. That's why we have to react quickly because someone doesn't think. <coughs> yeah. And regarding uh, people not thinking, unfortunately, this week there were two um, incidents, accidents. We will see what the, let's say, legal outcome will be. Um, so we yeah, had the first one happened uh, while white water rafting on Isonzo or Socha um, River here in Slovenia. Uh, there was apparently a group of American tourists. I assume they came from the cruise ship that docked at our uh, largest port in copper and then they went to you know this rafting excursion um, so large group two rafts each raft with um, with its own guide uh, unfortunately on one section both um, rafts hit something um, people were thrown into the river i'm not uh, i cannot now remember if the raft was you know turned over or not but um, basically several people people were rescued by the guides others you know uh, dust now she's pretty hungry um, several people were rescued several people managed to rescue themselves but unfortunately one uh, 55 55 years old uh, tourist um, drowned he was recovered a little bit downstream um, actually guides started you know doing CPR they continued doing CPR until the 
ambulance came, but you know, it was uh, he was gone. First, they were saying um, that there was a 19-year-old uh, guy that died. So we first thought that he was a crew member on from the American um, aircraft carrier carrier that has been uh, visiting the port of Trieste in Italy, which is close by, and they were also offering uh, day trips to the crew to Slovenia. Yeah. And the second accident or incident is even more tragic. Um, so apparently there was, you know, a school bus, a kid, um, a boy went off the bus. He apparently saw his mom waiting on the other side of the road, street. He, uh, I assume, based on the so far, so far known information, that he, you know, ran in front of the bus. The bus driver was looking to the left, you know, to pull out. He didn't see the boy, and unfortunately, um, he basically hit the boy, ran over the boy, and dragged him for several meters. Um, he apparently didn't even register, he didn't feel anything while this was happening. I assume the the people that were the parents or people that were nearby alerted him to stop um, but yeah unfortunately boy due to his his injuries died on the scene yeah and this is you know another example what happens if people do not think and I'm not blaming the boy here, you know, especially young kid, but drivers, they should be, you know, aware of such possibility than when, you know, the kids will run in front of the vehicle and they should be, you know, mindful. Yeah not the best news this week okay we will end on this point